book and was like, oh, you've taught this before <laughs> yeah. a few times. Uh, so, so we're, we're under we're open. Looking. Or wait, yeah, that's that's it. And, um, it's under, it's the landing vinyl. You could use the SFA. Yeah, landing. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the this is the brand new one. This is correct. One forty by seventy two. This is full scale. Yeah. One forty by seventy two. I just made it an even 140 by 72. Okay. So I'm gonna go 140 by 72. I'm gonna draw a box. You wanna take the stroke off when you're doing this stuff. Okay. And we are going to divide this by three. Copy, paste, paste. And we'll grab the three of them. Let's get rid of this as well. Distribute. Now we have three of them. We know they're snapped up properly. Convert that to artboard. We're going to delete that one. Artboard to artboard. I didn't know you could even. So you evenly distributed by uh, pressing or clicking the. Align yeah, the tool. align. Yep. Okay. That align up there. While, while it's selected. As long as it's as long as it's per. I always try to make everything like mathematically perfect. So once you snap it, or there's no like slither of nonsense in, in between them. Okay. So the middle one, we're going to add. Um, this is going to be our over, our overlap here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to add uh, two inches. So I have an inch overlap right here. I have an inch over overlap right here. Okay. So at this point, we're going to save these as PDF. We'll call this Rocco to the desktop. We're going to do high quality print. I'm going to open this up. Go organize. Yep. Organize pages. We're gonna extract the three of them. Extract them in separate files. Okay. Now I can add Suma reg marks to each one. Yeah, we're gonna place these in there, and we got to get that cut line on its own layer. Okay. So we're gonna save this. It's gonna be Rocco OG. And is this a Pantone color? Yes. It is Pantone 2195C. Should be. 2195? Yep. Pantone solid coated. 2195C. It's got to be 2915. 2195. What? Is somebody dyslexic? Maybe I'm dyslexic because I wrote it down. Yeah, 2915. It's definitely a blue. So let's we'll figure that out at the end here. Okay. All right. So we got our three here. This one we can delete. We can get rid of that. Okay. Make a new doc. Our material is sixty inches. So I'm just going to make it sixty. We'll call it ninety six right now. Grab these three. Bring them in. I'm just making the artboard right now to fit. I'm adding five inches and I'm adding five inches. I give two and a half inches on both sides. And then I'm gonna lock the bottom. We're gonna add another two inches to the top. And at this point, we are going to two, three. I'm gonna make three layers, one for each of these things. And the CAD cutter just needs at least two inches on the top to grab it. There's five inches five, in the back. Five on the back. At least two on the sides and at least two on the bottom. Okay. I like to do like three. If we, depending on like the material, how so you can go like the material. 
So the first one, sometimes these behave um, a little bit differently than you want to, but we're going to go up to object. We're going to sometimes, if you have to try embedding it or try uh, your flatten transparency. Let's try flatten transparency first. Reserve alpha, all this you want to turn off. You don't want to turn strokes to outlines because that's going to affect your cut path there. Okay. Vectors are always 100%. And if we so, see right now how the, the whole object's still there, so we want to cut that. That's just that command Y to, to flip it back and forth. We're going to go to Pathfinder. I'm going to use a divide. Once I hit that, see how it's going? Yep. It's just by itself there. This is also affecting this is affecting the cut line here. Let's just get let's get a select. So. I guess that's not working. I just undid that. This time we'll go up to object, clipping mask, release. Group this and this. I'm going to select these two. I'm not touching that cut line. Yeah. I'm going to divide them at this point. Select same little color. I'm going to delete it. Now I still have my invisible. I have my clipping mask there. My clip is invisible, but it's still there. Now I'm going to divide this. The cut path is wonky. I'm gonna try a couple things. This is a good one. Try something else. I'm gonna go back. If we knew the measurements, we could also potentially offset that path from that blue shape, right? Well, you need the cut line down here as well. You could, though. Yeah. Just freaking thing. Let's say every time you do this, it's different. What's the difference between expanded shapes and outline shapes? Is there? I know they. they you can outline the. Uh, you can outline the path. Okay. Oh, that makes with sense. The that makes I'm not sure what the expand is. Yeah.
You know what you could do? Let me go back to the original. Let me close the original. Continues all the way around the bottom. So why does it stop there? What the hell are they doing? All right, try this one more time. This is B two. Okay, so I see. Instead of uh, I just want to get rid of like the nonsense in there. Yeah, that's kind of so screwing it up. Before you expanded the yeah. Yeah. Okay. Two new rolls of that 54 inch 3M I use. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be opening one today because I'm not going to use much of it, just so you know. I'm not, I'm All right, I'll wait. We have enough to get going on the next one. Yeah, mm -hmm. get it quick. Uh, so also like I guess like the there's the um, you could either you could do one of two things you could embed it in there or you could flatten transparency when you flatten transparency you have control over outlining fonts converting strokes to outlines or just like leaving them alone okay. um, when you just embed it it, it kind of does like whatever the hell it wants right. it doesn't give you any options okay. I always typically do a flatten transparency I mean that's an option if for some reason the flatten transparency is not working it doesn't really do anything different it's a little bit so we'll kind of, I guess, like sim simpler. All right, so we got this guy up here. The object, flatten transparency. We got the 100%. We're going to do alpha transparency, OK. That's a whole thing. We're going to divide it right now. I'm going to delete this. It's still connecting down there, but. What I'm going to do, I'm going to copy, paste in place, make a new layer. All right, so I just shift X, I, I flipped it over to a fill. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna merge these, shift X, now I have my cut line. That's a, a solid cut line right there. That needs to be on its own layer anyway. And then down here, I'm gonna delete the red. All right, so now I have a cut line. I'm gonna make this one magenta. So that goes all the way down to the bottom now. Now we're good to go. Um, is there bleed? Well, actually, we don't need bleed. We could just line this up with the, I believe that's just the floor the here. The, yeah, it's just the bottom. We could line that up, and like if there's trim or something like that, we could just have it overlap like a quarter of an inch. Okay. I don't, I don't think that'd be an issue. So that's one. That's done. Go over here. Second, we're going to object, we're going flatten transparency, 100% vector, preserve alpha transparency, command Y, you can see everything's there, we're going to divide it to chop it all up, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, I'm pasting it in place, I'm going to go to a new layer, drag her up there, turn that off, You've got to ungroup it, we're just selecting the thing piece with the stroke, you do a shift X, we could delete this, and fill it. Select it. We're going to unite. Oh, there's another one over there. Now we're going to unite it. And the 
this is our base. Yep. And that's our original. We want to get rid of the original cut file. And that white in there, that was just like a white backer in the, the original one. Yeah, so. Now we're good to go. And as far as the overall, we have bleed left and right. That's no big deal. The white's no big deal. And again, we'll just we'll just trim it off um, on site for that bottom piece. And this one, we want the object flat and transparency. It's all the same. Command Y, everything's there. We're gonna divide it. And at this point, we'll just we'll delete this right now. This white. Now there's nothing there. Delete this. Now I can now I can do Shift X because I'm not grabbing the magenta and the white. Okay. The other I couldn't do it on the previous one there. Copy this. So watch this. Shift X. And that's all you're doing is you're you're changing the field of the stroke with that. Tuesday and Friday. All right, and so when we do our sumo marks, we could do one set of sumo marks for all of these, but it's just important that you um, that you label them because you could grab one by accident, potentially. Uh, so I have everything on, everything selected. I'm going up to File, Suma, Add the Opus. Uh, they're all in there right now. So we're gonna lock that. So what's important is, that's our cut one, this is our print one. We just wanna make sure we have a label. This is print one. And then you thought to do that, so if you... Get them all in one, yeah, it works out pretty good. Oh, I didn't know you could change the... Sh the yeah, I guess with sumo, I wouldn't. Yeah, print two. This is print three. Whoa. This is cut three. What material is this on? This is the uh, IJ one eighty. Oh. Oh, it's Z dash ten. This is not the the um. The what's it called, right? The <laughs> price increase one. No, the price increase are running over there. This is that open AP, the the no tell stuff. Oh, that's no tell. This is one of them. So at this point, you're ready to go. Um, you can reference, when you go to cut them, you have the same AI files. So you'll see the print three. There's the print three. Or, you know, it's not on there. You could put cut three if you print three here as well if you want it. But right now, you're good to go. Cool. Thanks so much. All right, so let me save this. And then uh, you're, you're just going to do it from start to, start to end. And you watch my amazing video here.